Hey guys and welcome back to some more Vitamin Watch. It today is Wednesday and that means we're using U-Box Z's and I am super behind and super busy. Like super duper busy. I'm going to try to get done with a lot of the, a lot of different recordings that I have to do. And uh, you know, hopefully get everything done because I'm probably not going to have much time to record on Thursday because I'm going to uh, be uh, recording... Well, attempting to record the new series, hopefully. It takes a lot of setup and uh, it might take the majority of the day, so I don't want to like go ahead and fall behind on things just because of that. Anyway, today we're using ULXCs and uh, hopefully everything goes fine. My opponent decides to go first. Setup is important, of course. Hmm. I'll go ahead and deck then, I guess. Like, no one runs mistakes these days, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. So far, this hand's not too terrible. Actually, a pretty good hand, actually. I can definitely uh, have various advantages with this hand. So we'll go ahead and, of course, drop you out. And get nice and set up, set level eater, start going for some interesting C plays. Oh, number summoner. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna summon another Nova summoner? Probably. Deck setting is good. Can't summon Parshat, but with your rating, you shouldn't. <laughs> Rain's a little bit too high for my blood with my 100 0, but heh, we'll go ahead and see what you can pull off. Oh. I did not even think of that. Oh. Okay, well, I'm clearly going to get plead these next turn. Did not see that coming. I didn't even know you could do that. That's interesting. That was an interesting play. I'm not salty about that. That was just blatantly just interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I want to pass. Are you going to go for pleadies? Or are you going to go for your boss monster? <coughs> chain. So chain goes backwards. I summon you bell. He pops and sets simultaneously, so I don't miss timing. And you go ahead and go ahead and send an artifact. <sighs> At least I could tear. All I know is that Pleades is coming, so I gotta worry about that fucker. <laughs> Such a hypocrite, like, oh, yay, I love using Castellas in real life, yeah, it's my deck, and then fucking duel against it out here, like, man, fuck Pleiades. <laughs> the reason why I like using Castellas in real life, because I know what an asshole Pleiades is. You gonna set your artifact, or what? Set your artifact. Is that in a bagel? No, not a bagel. More off. This is a bagel. Bagel! Okay, at least I know what that is. Go ahead and make pleadies. I already know what you're gonna do. Not that hard. Make pleadies, bounce tear. I get ultimate, and then on my turn, bounce ultimate. And I'll have all the evals in my hand. The one duel where I don't naturally draw a Yubel and then I and then I get Pleadies. That's that's funny. It's like you're gonna end up with Yubel in your hand one way or another. At least I got some dark reference in this deck, of course. Lots of dark reference actually. There's a lot of dark targets that are higher than Well, there's just a lot of dark targets in general. Well at least there's some that are higher than five, so I can go ahead and discard and special summon, so that's nice. Well five or higher. Go ahead and just make a plea. It's not that hard. I mean, unless you want to make your boss monster, but I don't really care about that either. The Randall. Pleadies. Volca. Tiris. What's up? I know. Them artifacts. And Nova summoned it. I didn't even see that coming. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Like, have fun. I'm using... I'm using them freaking uh, artifacts. I'm gonna make Cleaties. Have fun. Oh, there's Dark Ruffer at least. Once returned, you can target one piece of monster your opponent controls that. Ooh. Oh, Normal summon. Is that okay? So with all that background, I'm thinking I, I'm saying ooh because I can go discard special summon and make a black rose. Black rose is in here, right? Yeah, he is cool. The Pleiades in that back row. Like I know he probably has a sanctum. Yep, I saw that coming. Yep, I saw that coming from a mile of fucking way. Of course he has a sanctum. Ah, I really needed that too. Well, this is fun. Seems like every single time I duel against an artifact deck or someone who's using artifact, they always get Sanctum. Well, when I try it, I don't get Sanctum. I think I just think that's fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, fuck it. If I'm gonna get fucked up by Pleiades, I might as well do it on my own damn terms. I'm surprised they didn't go. Summon Moral to another Bagel Talk. Bagel Talk destroy this Moral Talk. Moral Talk summon pop me and then make another Pleiades next turn. Hi. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that that wasn't his plan. I'll attack. Go ahead. Effect. Go ahead put it back in my hand. Go ahead and detach. Yep. I mean, normal summons, so there's not much I can do. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one, twenty-six. That hurts. got an interesting play that I can do, but I can't guarantee that it's going to be the greatest. I can make a Draco Sack. I can make a Felgrand. I can make, I can make an Exitarm, but what the fuck would that do? That would just get Maral talk to someone and pop my ass, so that wouldn't matter much anyway. And go discard special summon, discard send, summon send XC into Exiton. I would definitely be down on resources. I wipe the field. These two are probably artifacts, so they would be someone trying to get their Hold on, let me do the math. So discard, discard. I'd have you on the field. These two would be out of my hand. So I'd have one, two, three, four. Summon you. Drop an effect XC. So I'd have one, two, three. If I wipe the field and both of these are artifacts, then that means that they would be summoned. This is Moral Attack. I know this is Moral Attack, so that'd be something. It would try to go to effect. I can add then. It would be a separate chain. I then can Exiton once again, and then he would just have two cards left. That might work. But knowing my luck, he probably has another Sanctum on the field. And then, of course, I'll get popped by the Moral Attack still, but, you know, at least I'll get to go ahead and wipe his field twice. I get my graveyard nice and set up with all my various levels and stuff. All my pretties. I'm gonna summon. Right. I 
only four of my plan is if this this is if this is an artif an artifact and he doesn't get to go plus, then I'm in deep shit. So I'm pretty much relying this plan is pretty much relying on the fact that that other face down card that he sent is another artifact. I'm gonna go ahead and overlay, of course, into Exiton. Exim doesn't start a chain. You can't go before you exceed because exceeding doesn't start a chain. So you, there's no frame for you to play any cards during that time. <sighs> ah. That hurt. Ah. So you're going to chain on summon? Destroyed, but I might as well wipe you too. What do you mean I can't chain its effect? I'm supposed to be two. Yes, I can. Really? Really? I can't chain to your effect. Really? Tell me why. Why I can't. I'm supposed to be two. I'm. You summon your morale talk. Morale talk summon. Morale effect. Chain. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Do you have you never have you never read fucking Exiton? Have you never experienced Exiton? He is spell speed two. Yes, he is. Oh my god. Wow. Do you not play? Have you not been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for these last couple of months? Exiton is a. Have you never read Exiton? It is the last line. Oh my god, line. Okay. So, everybody gets wiped. Everybody's dead. Everybody gonna die. Go ahead. Like, really? Like, this is a quick effect. It's not a quick effect. This is a quick effect. <laughs> How can you tell me it's not a quick effect when it clearly says quick effect? I don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> I can drink, I can make a Draco smack. As long as not, that's not a goddamn sanctum face down, but normal luck it probably is, so. Something. Is that okay? Effect to make level 8. Uh, level either. Effect. I think that was a pretty good play, in my opinion. It wasn't too terrible. Like that, make that eight. I did the galaxy with insight. All seven. Over the lane to Draco smack. Come along, get a smack. Check. Go ahead and detach. Get me two tokens. Of course, I'm not going to blow that up. Fucking artifacts. I'll just attack. I'll just get the damage in. Go ahead. This is not a quick effect. It says right there in the card. I don't need Dark Rifle for anything else, so I'll just use him as a beater. He's played in ignition, setting, what? I'm surprised you didn't use the ignition on your own card. Full knot, okay. Mm. 
no, 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 no. You can't do that. Do that. It misses. Uh, there is only one end phase. You can't play something in multi in supposed multiple steps of end phase. There's no multiple steps of end phase. I'm ending my turn during my end phase. You play something. That's fine. You can't go, okay, well, now still in the end phase, play something else. Like, it doesn't work like that. You can play that during my next end phase, or you can play that during my next turn. It's only one end phase. There's no multi-step end phase. Sure. Dark hole. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's not annoying. <sighs> Almost something. Okay. Of course, of course that's what he has. Of course. Like, damn. Why does this nigga have all the fucking answers? Attack. Go ahead. MST him. Of course, he has 2,000 attack. Like, god damn it. Like, all the luck. Like, of course, you get everything. You get that. You get the dark hole. You get the fucking two. Fair, you get everything. It's okay. It's okay. I tried my best, but I'm probably going to lose this duel. I'll take the 300. <sighs> Galaxy Queen's Light. Thanks. That's totally what I needed. Thanks, Dak. Oh, well, I don't care. I tried my best. If my opponent just didn't get every single perfect thing in the perfect world perfectly, then I might have been able to do something, but nope. That's Chameleon. Oh, well, I already used Exiton, so that's not gonna work. I can make a 101. Yeah, I can go summon you, have Phantom Chaos, summon you back. I can make a King of Feral Limp, actually. That might be even be, be even might be even better. Making you bell is not the most practical thing in the world right now. Might be better going on the offense, but knowing him, he probably has something for my play, so... Yeah. I can make... I can make an Armides, actually. Actually, an Armides might be pretty good. Yeah, I can go summon you. You summon a monster with zero defense, which of course is level eater. Uh, and make an Armides. Normal summon. What? He's gonna be like, oh uh, no. I got the answer right here. You have zero defense. I'll summon you. Think five. I might ease. Go ahead. It's a pure artifact deck. Number reverse. Okay. I don't mind that, I guess. Another fiber jar. Not fiber jar. Absorbing jar. Fiber jar. That's bad. Daniel, what are you thinking? Fiber jar. That's banned. This keeps on fucking giving me life points. Get that sanctum. So, yeah, it's a nice, it's a pretty nice duel so far. Um, I might have this, but I want to take the duel slow. Uh, 
I want to take the duel slow. I got plays. I got these two plays, but I don't want to like overextend and get my ass beat. I said, "Under coal." Okay. Game. Uh, you can't activate. Okay, at the start of battle phase, it would be at the end phase of. It would be at the end of main phase one, but sure, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. There, there is no activate something at the start of battle phase. It would be at the end, end of main phase one. Yeah. Just to tell you, there is no activate at start of battle, it's end of main phase one, so I am still in main phase one. That's fine, he can go ahead and top deck the shit out of himself, that's fine. So, because of this is summoned, I can't summon from the extra deck, right? That's fine. I'm a dark hole. Is there a reason I can't activate Dark Hole? And the mid ones can't... What? And the main phase one means can't act any cards? What do you mean? What do you mean? At the end of my main phase one, you activate Call of the Haunted. You know what? Not even gonna go. Not even gonna explain it to you. Not whatever. Whatever. Not even going to try and explain it to you. <sighs> whatever. I'll go to main phase two. Whatever. Fine. I don't care. Dark hole. I don't even care. Whatever. Dark hole. That's gone too. Do that right now. Nope. Can't do that right now. Just take it a little slow. <sighs> do I have any more warriors? I think I have one more Armageddon Knight. One, two. Yeah, I have one more Armageddon Knight. Good. Uh, excuse me. Good. Suck my dick. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Just argue with that guy. Like, no. You know, that he doesn't know when cards can be played. You can't just play cards really no. He doesn't time to respond to playing when cards can be activated. And he clearly did not know. Like, you don't it's not like, oh, start a battle phase, do you wanna play anything? Like, no. It's at the end of phase, main phase one. Then you can play something at attack direction at declaration, but then you can't do that because of my mighty. So it would be at end of main phase one. So if I had another monster in my hand at the time, I could have went Dark Hole, Summon, Attack. Because that would have been at the end of my main phase one that he played Call of the Hunted. Either it would have been at the end of my main phase one or Forever Hold His Peace. Because there's no in-between time that he could play those cards at the time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call the episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using Cosmic U Bell. Thanks for watching.